So, so Mike, you're a first time CEO. T tell us about your biggest mistake. Um, there's a lot of them. Uh, okay, failure is a word we should erase. I'm like, Jesus. exactly. Yeah. I hit that every day. Um, <laughs> uh, probably not understanding people enough and how important they are. Um, we've been very big on culture and those sorts of things, but um, actually, that's not true. It's probably uh, learning to fire people quickly enough. Actually, if I had to have one big mistake, the only times we've made huge egregious errors is where we've let someone uh, who was a good person in the wrong job. Uh, stay around for too long just because we were gutless. Is it because you're gutless or because you felt an obligation to try and nurture them and teach them and make them better? Uh, yeah, a little from column A, a little from column B. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very hard conversation to have with someone to say that it's not working out. Um, and we've had to do it a lot now. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, your initial time, you definitely think, oh, if I work a little harder or put them in a different job or do this or do that, and, and sometimes they just need a different environment altogether. Um, so, I, uh, yeah, I think we, we've certainly learned that lesson a lot, a lot of times. How do you notice the team react when you finally do get rid of the person or move them? Uh, I reckon there's two reactions. The fir first reaction is um, people like, thank Christ, why didn't you do that sooner? And then you're like, oh, shit, everyone else noticed but me. That was a bad sign. Um, the second reaction is uh, you get from teams, which is usually from their, their subordinates, and usually I found this is where you have a manager um, or a team lead or something that is a great guy. Everybody loves him. He's like what I call the suburban soccer coach. So he's like the dad soccer coach. Everyone loves the coach. He's great. He may not be actually any good at teaching you soccer, but he seems like a really good bloke. So everyone gets on well with him, et cetera. And then you let him go and the whole team's at your door going, hey, what happened? We, we really liked, you know, Bob. Why'd you get rid of Bob? And inevitably, six months later, that same team comes and goes, I understand why you got rid of Bob. Now that we've got Jim, Jim is like miles better. He's taught me so much about my job. You know, I'm, I'm performing at twice the level I was beforehand. Um, and so those, those are the satisfying ones where they actually come back and say, no, I get it now. Um, but they're certainly pissed off on day one.